Hey, it's Mladen from Quick Reference, and today I'm going to show you how to dismiss the keyboard in iOS Swift. There's two ways, when you tap on the screen somewhere outside the keyboard and when you hit return at the keyboard. First, we'll show the tap. So what you want to do is in your view to load function, you want to say uh, self.view.add gesture recognizer, uh, UI tap gesture recognizer, uh, open parentheses, target, self, selector or action, you want to do selector and then give it a function, let's call it dismiss, uh, dismiss keyboard, just like that. And then you want to create the function dismiss keyboard. And here you're going to say, also here's your text field by the way, that should be linked to your storyboard. Uh, text field that resign first responder. I'm so tired I can't tell if I spelt it right or whatever. Okay, so that's the tap gesture recognizer. The next is if you hit return. So for that, you're going to need to go into your class and make it inherit from uh, UI text field delegate. Text field delegate, just like that. Uh, then you want to say in your booted load, you want to say text field, the text field that you have dot delegate equals self. Then down here, you want to say text field dot should return. And then you just say text field dot resign first responder and turn true. Let's run it just to prove to you that it is that easy and that you don't need to be watching 16 minute long videos just to see how to do the simplest things. I don't know why that's saying there's an error. Give it a minute. This, this must be some sort of bug in Xcode. Here we go. Okay, here's our keyboard. First, I'm going to show you that you can tap to get rid of it. So you tap somewhere outside. There you go, hog. <laughs> so as you can see, that works. And then when you hit return, that dismisses as well. Uh, code's going to be in a paste bin in the description. Thank you very much for watching.